You know all those luxury SUVs on the road today? Well, back in 98, Mercedes helped pioneer that market with their successful full-sized ML series. Despite their initial pioneering efforts in the posh utility scene, today Mercedes is one of the last automakers to join its mid-size category. This is their GLK 350. It might be late to the party, but it's arrived nicely dressed. It's decidedly blocky and tough looking, a real departure from the more curvy and generic appearance that's prevalent in this market. If rugged is your thing, you'll love the way this machine looks. Inside the tester got a panoramic sunroof, aluminum trim, slick instruments, and a comprehensive driver computer. The heated leather seats feature power adjustments and a memory function, and there's plenty of storage too. Like the exterior, the cabin is a modern take on a classic look. If you're into lots of buttons or want to pretend you're flying a fighter jet, then this isn't the car for you. But the elegant and easy to use layout here works towards a relaxing atmosphere. The stereo is powerful, outward visibility is very good, and the highway ride keeps wind and road noise well in check. The brand's trademark heavy, solid, and high quality feel is present throughout the cabin. Things do tighten up with five adults on board, though there's plenty of room for four grown-ups or an average family of five. The cargo area is flexible and even included this 120 volt power outlet. Up front, the GLK gets a 3.5 liter 268 horsepower V6 mated exclusively to a 7 speed automatic transmission with manual mode. The power plant and gearbox work very smoothly with one another. It's just one of the ways that the GLK offers its owners a very laid back drive. The GLK comes standard with two features that are intended to give you a confident and comfortable ride no matter what you happen to be driving on. The first one is the 4 system, which automatically powers all four wheels all the time for extra traction. And the second system is called Agility Control that automatically varies the damping rates of the shock absorbers based on your driving habits to give you a stiff, sporty ride when you need one or a more comfortable and relaxed ride when you don't. Now both of these systems operate with no driver involvement required, they're both automatically on all the time doing their thing, so you can just get in, sit back and enjoy the ride. The ride ranges between cushy and softly sporty on pavement, but the GLK is surprisingly smooth on rough surfaces, like these gravel roads with washboards and potholes. There's a standard electronic stability control system to help cancel out skids and improve safety in low traction situations too. Complaints are minimal, the turning circle can feel a bit on the big side during parking, and the engine requires premium gas despite not putting out any really impressive power figures given its size. End of the day, if you're looking for a giant sport you with room for 5 or 6 people in their gear, this isn't your SUV. But if you want the year-round confidence of a much larger machine and a more reasonably priced and fuel efficient package, the GLK should prove a much more realistic choice. Thanks for watching.